in this lecture we will study how to make a, a two point perspective using measuring point method uh, of a bit complicated uh, figure previously we have made the uh, the perspective of a cuboid now the figure is this in which there are two blocks and a projection and a columns So this is a figure you can see now. This is a figure. It is an elevation of the figure, and this is a plan. Uh, we will make the setup in which we have assumed we have uh, tilted the figure like this. So to make a two-point perspective, this point is touching the picture plane, and this is the elevation. We have made the grid in which we have marked one to ten in the elevation or in the vertical direction, one to ten uh, in right side, and one zero to ten. uh in the left side the vanishing point and the measuring points we have marked so first we will make this uh, uh, this cuboid first this one so how it will be then we will mark this we will mark, we will uh, make the uh, plan first you can see how we have done so what we have done in this uh, we have done like this we have uh, it has 6 uh, uh, 600 mm lens so uh, we have marked this point to measuring point here and 500 here so we have point this wherever it meet these two lines which are joining the vanishing point left and right uh, where where it meets we will join this again to this point to the vanishing point right and this point to vanishing point left like this and we will get this in the plan now we will uh, measure the uh, from the height we will get this so so what i am doing i am making the plan first in the previous lecture also i have told you if uh, whenever we are making the uh, complex figure first we have to make the plan of the figure first so 2 cm is standing beyond so i have uh, joined this two to the uh, measuring point because uh, it is extending here uh, this side so i have joined this to this not not this point because if if i will join this point it will measure on this point so for this i have joined to measuring point left this is uh, 200 mm it is uh, projecting out and from here it is so this way i have created the plan you can see from to here also joined this to vanishing point this to vanishing point and again this is the plan i have got using the measuring points now i have to make make this which this is 150 mm getting out this is 200 mm from this direction and 200 mm this and 200 mm this and 150 mm getting out the first i will mark 150 mm that is getting out from it so i will take 150 mm length that's this to mark this to the measuring point right uh, this i have joined to this point only because it is extending out from the from the point where it is touching the picture plane so i have joined it to this when whenever it, this line is uh, uh, this line extending beyond then i have to join the, uh, these uh, lens to the this uh, measuring point and then we we'll join 200 then again 200 and 200 we will get the dimension like this okay this this has been made see so this and this has been made now we will make these two columns the same method these columns are of dimension 50 by 50 mm So we'll make the column with the same method. 
seven mark the fifty point from here to the mark this fifty point here to the measuring point and wherever it extends, join this point to the vanishing point. We have got this, and the, the same way we will join, make this and this point. So for this, we have to join the this point to this. And from here also, it is two hundred extending to fifty mm. First, I have to take the offset fifty mm. Then join to this vanishing point. First to measuring point and then to vanishing point. Here it cuts here, and then so we have got two squares. One two squares. So this this we have made the plan now. This heights we have to make the heights. So it is seven. Seven hundred mm is the height, so I will take this point, join this, and this we will get this cube. This cuboid it has been made. Then this is of five hundred mm. So this this has been made as five hundred mm. This is again. As five hundred mm, so upper upper point will be this, and for the lower we have to take from four hundred mm. The projection is made. Now we have to make column. We will extend these columns and make the again the square at the plane wherever it meets the upper plane. So when all has been made, then we will simply highlight them. You can see I have highlighted. This is the figure. This is the figure that has been made using the measuring point method. So, so basic, uh, uh, you can say a thumb rule is that you have to make a plan first, then take the height from the uh, point wherever it uh, uh, touches the picture plane. So, uh, this is the line it touches. So, I have I have assumed that this point is touching the picture plane. So, I have taken all the heights from this, and whenever the uh, uh, object is coming out from this cube then we have to take the dimensions extending uh, beyond this so so for make uh, for calculating the distance of from this point to this point we have to take we have to join um, the length whatever it is required to the measuring point left but if, if the distance is required uh, beyond this uh, uh, this point which is uh, coming out from the picture plane, then we have to take these points and again join to the measuring point left and wherever wherever it these uh, two lines, this point line and this line meet each other, that is the that is the length in the that is coming out from the picture plane. That is the length in the perspective that is coming out from the picture plane for both the direction, in this direction also and in this direction also. That is the thumb rule of making perspective using measuring point method. I hope you have understood uh, because this is a simpler figure. In the next lecture, I will uh, tell you how to make uh, using the same method, how to make a complex figure. Thank you.